Thanks for joining us again this week. We're in the last week of our current sermon theme and focus. There is a reason and a season. Let's bow in prayer. Lord God, I thank you that you hold our life in your hands. Lead us, guide us. May we be your people of hope and faith and truth. Give us courage to persevere through testing times. Thank you, Lord, that you'll take these words today and minister to us. May our hearts and ears be open to you. In Jesus' name, amen. In Isaiah chapter 54, verses 1 to 3, we read this. Sing, barren woman, you who never bore a child, burst into song, shout for joy, you who never were in labour, because more are the children of the desolate woman than of her who has a husband, says the Lord. Enlarge the place of your tent, stretch your tent curtains wide, do not hold back, lengthen your cords, strengthen your stakes, for you will spread out to the right and to the left. Your descendants will dispossess nations and settle in their desolate cities. There is a reason and a season. Give God room to do the impossible. Sing, O barren woman, more are your children. What seems impossible is not impossible to God. He stretches our faith. He stretches our trust. He stretches our resolve. He indeed is the way maker, miracle worker. That is who you are. Anyone agree with me today on that? Thank you. It may take our whole life to make sense of certain things, but it's not wasted time. Somebody needs to hear this today. Your life was not wasted. Before you were formed in the womb, God knew you and saw you. God knew what would happen to you. He knew what would happen that you hadn't planned on. What have you been seeing as wasted time and effort God sees as just a stage. You saw it as wasted time and wasted effort and wasted resources, but God sees it as just a stage, a blink in time, because he has a reason and he has a season. Just trust him in the process and in the outcome. Trust him. In the Old Testament in 2 Chronicles 19, sorry, 16 verse 9, we read this. For the eyes of the Lord range or go throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. In this season, we may need some strengthening from God. How much space have we given God to work in our lives? How much space are we giving God? God, I'm only going to give you this much and I'll just hang on to the rest. I'm only going to go this far and hold back just a little bit for myself. Don't leave room for the devil to move in. Don't let fear take over. Don't give God's territory to your enemy. 
Here is my heart, Lord. Have your way. Have your will. God wants to show himself strong for those whose hearts are committed to him. Flex. Come on, flex. Flex that faith muscle. Trust in the Lord to fill in the gaps and blank spaces in this season. Have faith to trust him when it seems all too hard and confusing. Have faith to trust him. He will find you if your heart is towards him and strengthen you for the days ahead. Don't back down. Don't walk away. Hold on to his promises. I read this before, enlarge the place of your tent, stretch your tent curtains wide, do not hold back, lengthen your cords, strengthen your stakes. This has been a season of preparation. That's the reason, my friends. A season of preparation. God is preparing us for what is next. So in this space and in this time, get ready, get ready, get ready for what is next. Personally, and for us as a church community, God is growing our capacity to trust him. Trust him. He's growing our capacity. Stretch out and trust him. Paul's in prison and he writes to the Philippians. The church in Philippi was experienced suffering and facing internal strife and they are being encouraged to develop a strong Christian walk and outlook. And in Philippians 1.20 Paul says this, I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage, so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Paul turns his prison into a pulpit, he knows he cannot control what's happening around him, but the faith within him stands strong. During this season, he said, I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now as always, Christ will be exalted. As always, Christ will be exalted. Yes. What about you? What about me? Paul is doing for the gospel what Isaiah prophesied about for the nation. He is stretching. Enlarge the place of your tents. Stretch your tent curtains wide. Have a greater influence despite the circumstances. In this season, friends, the planners are being punished and the procrastinators are loving it. Paul knew whatever he faced, even though it might be out of his control, it would be okay. It would serve God's higher call and higher plan. It would be okay. He did not plan the shipwrecks, or the beatings, or the imprisonment, but the Lord sustained him, and he is sustaining us. There is a reason and a season. I've discovered that those people whose faith is strong, it is because it has been stretched and challenged throughout their life. They have coped when circumstances around them changed. 
and they felt helpless to do anything. Sing, sing, O barren woman. You who have never born a child, burst into song, shout for joy. God is at work in the details. What looks dead will spring to life. Expand your expectation to include what you did not plan for. Create a space in your life for God to do his work. Maybe one of the things God has taught us all is that we filled up our lives so much that there was no space for him to move. You thought the church was shut. Hey, we've been open all the time. God has met with us in our homes, in our lounge rooms, around our tables, through Facebook, Zoom, YouTube, our church Padlet, phone calls, text messages, short visits of support and care. We have got on with what he has called us to do in this season. Psalm 55, 22, as we finish today. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Cast. Your cares on the Lord. He will sustain you. He will sustain us. For we are his people. We are his church. Don't be consumed by what you cannot control. Strengthen your faith. Strengthen your resolve. Your courage. And thank God for this season. Amen.